Well, I can only say that in these more than 40 years, 46 years, you know, of working on the body-mind problem, I think I'm beginning to understand something, and I'm going to talk about it tonight. Uh, the conviction I have, of course, is that you are your body, and uh, your head doesn't control it in a positive way. It can control it in some respects in a negative way. That means that if you're going to change in any significant way, your body must change. And the body is not something you talk about. The body is something that can be seen. So if I work with somebody, I have to see the physical change at a body level. Then I know they're changing and what's going on. But in the more important, you see, you are your body. It tells the story of your life. Absolutely. And it also tells us where your present problems are. It's all about you. In fact, it is you. Well, what you find is that uh, all the problems a person has are structured in his body. And the basic problems he has is that he's afraid to come alive and have feelings fully. That's right. a basic. And the only way you cut off feelings is a dead in your body. That's the only way you can cut off feelings. Dead bodies don't feel. Yeah. But getting back the feelings, when people are, are so frightened of feeling, is a long, hard road. But it's a worthwhile road. And we are, see, the problem that we have is that the culture is not a body culture. Absolutely. It's a head-end oriented more culture. More and more. More and more, uh, emphasizing thinking and power and, uh, and not feeling. Feeling is the last thing that enters the picture of modern life. So um, tonight, uh, in this uh, setting, workshop setting, I'm going to talk about working with the body. All right. Some very s basic ways and, un and and the concepts that are connected to them of how you can work with your body to increase its aliveness, to give it more energy, to find that you have more uh, a better sense of control, your more self-possession. I mean, your body is who you are. Yeah. And the more you're in touch with the body, the more you're in touch with yourself. Well, I had a patient today who, uh, well, yesterday she came in and she said she was lost. She felt lost. Well, of course, she, she wasn't lost in a, what you might call, practical sense. I mean, she knew where she was. Yeah. She could tell you her name. She wasn't crazy or yeah. anything like that. But she didn't feel herself. Right. And in a sense of the feeling of the self, she was a lost person. Yeah. And you can't do that by talking about it. You have to feel it. You have to begin to feel it. Yeah, you have to. Feeling is where bioenergetics is at. Yeah. And unfortunately, feeling is not where the world is at right, right. now. You can talk about feelings all day long, you know, but it's not feeling. It's an idea that you're talking about. Yeah. Feeling is a sensation in the body that comes when you can sense what's going on in your body. People carry a pain that's unnecessary. I mean, Often. they're frightened, really. Mostly, it, probably. See? Just give you an example. If they're sitting up as tight as this, like yeah. that, and talking, God, that's an awful painful way to be. And they may have been carrying that for 50 years. They're not even aware of it. Yeah. They don't know what you're talking about when yeah. you talk about their attention and how, hurt it, how, how much it hurts because they've deadened themselves to it. See? Tragic. Tragic. For most people, life is tragic. Well, let's hope that... Uh, Anybody who does any therapy with people will really realize the importance of working with a body to make that body alive and change in a positive way. Because what you do in your head has no feeling quality attached to it, or very little. Right. Consciousness is a very shallow phenomenon. It's like the tip of the iceberg, which you can be aware of. Yeah. It's a surface. It doesn't go deep. So. From a conscious level, sure you can change some ideas. It's like painting the house over, it doesn't change yeah. the house. <laughs> but uh, real change is done on a dynamic inner level, below the level of consciousness. And that's what bioenergetic uh, is. It works below the level of consciousness. Hell if you know these days, and I think they're right to worry. <laughs> <laughs> because they're not healthy. People are sick out there. Their bodies are grotesque. So let me say this, that uh, a healthy person is really characterized by a body that's alive and vital. Right. Eyes that shine, right. a voice that's resonant, a manner that's soft, 
a sense of grace, a courage that's dignified, and not dominated by his ego. He has a sense of humility when he talks about things. Right. 